Hello, Plus Two. Look who's back. <laughs> oh, I just feel a little bit um, exhilarated, I guess you say, you would say. I just finished one of my cross stitches and I just felt like I seriously have to make a floss tube now and I need to do it before it's the new year. <laughs> so I just, oh, I have to take a shower. I have to go get some coffee. I have to brush my teeth. I have to comb my awful hair and set up everything and just try to remember how I did. And um, it's a little bit nervous, um, but uh, cheers for the coffee. And um, I haven't prepared what to talk about or anything. I just prepared uh, for uh, all the cross stitching I'm going to show you. Um, but uh, my husband gave me a new computer, a faster computer. And I mentioned that on my Instagram because I'm quite active on Instagram. And for one reason was for me to, to make my floss tubes uh, because the other computer I had, it took quite a while to work the program, the editing and everything. So he wanted to give me a new computer so it would go faster and it wouldn't take so much of my time. And a new computer because I needed some gaming in my life. So I'm back in WoW, World of Warcraft, uh, with a new expansion release and everything. So, and what I want to say about that is that on the new computer, I have no intro, I have no music, I haven't gotten anything. And I guess I should send, or I could send all the old stuff to my new computer, but I don't know. So there is no intro. There is not going to be like the end or anything. I'm just going to try to keep it simple and short, <laughs> which isn't my strongest side, but I'm glad to be back. I'm so grateful for all your comments and messages uh through these past few months which i haven't been active on floss tube so but mwah, 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 to all of you and i hope you all had a merry christmas so let's stop talking and let's talk a little bit of cross stitching so yes i had a finish i finished my mirabilia like an hour ago maybe my portrait of Veronica and she's just so beautiful and I'm going to show her and I'm not going to have a whip parade. I'm going to have a finished parade because I finished two pro 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 projects <laughs> this year and those are my two Mira. So Veronica, my sweet Veronica. I haven't washed her. I haven't ironed her or anything. But here she is on the called for fabric. It's 32 count linen. It's like a lime color. It looks a bit grayish in the viewfinder. I think it's called viewfinder. Is it called viewfinder? Never mind. On the screen here, it looks a bit grayish, but it's a, it's a, a lime, a bit green color, I think. But she's all turquoise and blue and black and just amazing. I mean, look at that face. So, so, so freaking beautiful. But, <clears throat> so I stitched her on 32 count. And I heard that a 32 count is a bit troublesome when you're going to place the beads. And I was very curious of that. And it started out very well, but when I did get to the bigger beads, I did have some trouble as well. 
And I think mainly because I'm going to show you. I think I hope the camera is focusing on like these beads here. If you can see, I have placed them upright like this. And <clears throat> you know, they're a bit wider than if I would have placed them like this. Uh, but then I would get the problems if I place beads like on the sides like this, but placing them on top of each other. And there's quite a bit of that in the necklace here and in her dress as well, like uh, here and here. So, <clears throat> and th this is like, it's fun. I'm, I'm disappointed because I did have trouble placing the beads. And when I was almost all done with her, I felt like just tearing off all the beads and start over. Um, because when I looked at the picture on Mirabilia website, uh, she has placed the beads like on the diagonal. And I'm thinking that maybe, maybe it would be possible to place the beads better if I did that. So, but I did remove some beads, just a few to be able to, you know, save it, you know. So I, I'm still happy about it because I mean, no one is going to notice unless you have stitched it yourself, I think. What else did I learn? Um, I learned that there was something else. I'm going to place the beads diagonal. And I think I am going to stitch on 28 count when I can. I do have ordered quite a few 32 pieces, 32 count pieces for my Mirabilias. But um, so I think I'm going to kind of stitch. I mean, the kids where I've ordered the, the fabric for them, I'm going to stitch it on that. There's no problem. I will work the thing. I will work it out with the beads. Um, but there was something else. What was it? The beads on the diagonal. The skin. There was quite a lot of skin on her. And I'm, I'm stitching my skin one over one. And the rest of it two over two. So when I was around this part, I had stitch, stitched her arms and I was like, this is kind of tedious, you know? So either I would like to start with the skin and then go to the dress, or I'm, I'm going to do two, um, two over one, but with 10 stitching, but that was something else. Huh? Oh, well. Never mind. I'm very happy about it. So that was one. And then I'm going to show you the other Mirabilia I have finished. I finished her like in the summertime. <laughs> and that was my very first Mirabilia. So this is Miss Christmas Eve. And she's just so amazing. And she's so beautiful. She was stitched on 28 count. Lovely dress. So, um, so those are my finishes. And Vic Victoria, no, Ver Veronica, I finished her today. Um, oh yes, now I remember what I also learned with the Mirabilia. I'm just rolling it up like this. I learned that, I'll put it here, that on my Christmas Eve, my Miss Christmas Eve, I stitched and beaded as I finished off. Uh, as I went, you know, I beat it as I went. 
but on Portrait of Veronica, I decided to stitch the whole thing and then do the beading. And that is something I will not do if I don't really seriously have to, because when I, when I had finished her with the cross stitching, I felt as if she was finished. So it was kind of not boring, but it felt like I had to go over the whole thing again, beading her. It didn't take that long. It wasn't that many beads to place. But in the future, if it's like possible to do it, I will cross stitch and bead as I go. So that was the other thing. So you might be thinking, what has she been up to since was the weekend before Halloween? And which episode is this? 28, 29, something, I don't know. I have had my floss tube for a year. <sighs> Amazing. Anyway, so what have I been up to? Well, um, I remember saying that I wanted to focus a little bit more on fewer of my heaven and earth. So I had a plan, <laughs> you know, the plans I never stick to. I, have a I had a plan that one month I was going to stitch on Deliciosa which I did. And then, then like for November, I was supposed to stitch on soft as steel, which I did. But for December, I was supposed to go back to Deliciosa and make another page, which I didn't. I'm sorry. I haven't stitched on heaven and earth in December. I am so ashamed, seriously. Maybe I'll be banned from the groups. But I'm going to show you what I have stitched on my softest steel. Oh. And for the sensitive people out there who don't like a lot of skin, this is a warning. There's a lot of nakedness on softest steel. So just jump ahead. I'm sorry, but she's very beautiful. So here she comes. Close your eyes if you don't want to see. Yeah. And now... <laughs> okay. I have all the loose threads up here. Maybe I can... Can I... Oh, man. And the coffee mug is over here. Be careful. Okay. That's a little bit better. Hey, I'm having a little bit of trouble here. Yes, here we go. No, this is horrible. Oh, well. This is my progress. And what I stitched is... Now everything fell down. I stitched this page here. I can't help it. So, this, oh, this is so good, good, uh, this is like the beginning of, she has like a huge flag behind her, um, so this is the beginning, and if you want to see, like, the finished, like, not the finished design, but the design, just go over to heavenandearth.com uh, and type in soft as steel and it will she will show up um anyway so and i started a little bit up here and then i was like yeah i don't want to do it anymore so that's me i can't stick to my plans that's why you're gonna laugh when i tell you about the plans for 2021 <laughs> yes but Hey, I'm me. That is something I have learned this year. I'm me and I have learned a lot about how I work and how my mood has its ups and its downs and I just have to work through it. And 
you guys will, I'm sure, have an understanding mind on how I am. Anyway, so that was soft as steel, my heaven and earth. And if I can stick to the plan, I'm going to stitch on soft as steel in January. And I will tell you all about that in a while. And I'm sorry I'm hitting in the microphone, but that's how it is. So I have made a few starts because when you're feeling a little bit down, a new start brightens up the day. Yes. So this summer I made a huge order from traditional stitches in the Canada. And because of the whole COVID situation and whatnot, uh, it has been taking quite a while to get the stuff from that order, unfortunately. And I still haven't gotten everything, but I did get the stuff to start another huge project. It's 101 alphabets by Rosewood Manor. And I have it on my huge frame, as you can see here. It's like a never ending story. And here's the start on the first alphabet on the first page. And you're thinking, yeah, will she ever can continue on that? I sure hope so during 2021. So that was the start. I'm going to show you. I think the light is twinkling a little bit and I'm sorry about the crinkling because my project bags most of them are plastic bags I'm a horrible person I know but I can't afford buying those fine project bags and I don't have the energy to stitch them myself but this is 101 um, alphabets by Rosewood Manor and when I laid my eyes on this I'm sorry for the glare. I was like, man, what a challenge. And you all know I'm up for a challenge. And this here, and this is the start up here. So I have some way to go. And there is a lot of pages. So, and I'm stitching it on, what is it? Because I did, get all the called for stuff it the design is 499 by 499 and it's stitched on a 36 count ivory linen um, and I'm using DMC and I have put them in floss away bags and I really like this Actually, it's uh, very simple to just put the skeins in there. So I like that. And what else? I made another start. Oh, hello there. Oh, here's another project bag. It's a huge one. It's too big. I'm starting thinking, haven't I stitched on anything else? I know I've stitched quite a bit on my Mirabilia. Anyway, I made another start. I should catch. Somebody said that these rings were like amazing. And this Q-snap is like a six by six. It's a very small, it's perfect if you're like away from home and you're stitching in hand like this. I like it, but it's very tiny. And this fabric is a hand dyed fabric from XU Designs. And is this this real right way? No, it's upside down. So it's a grayish fabric with some faint brown stains in it. 
and it's all yeah I know I don't like to iron I mean and you're wondering so what is she showing me yes what am I showing you I am showing you I am showing you a dog's last will and testament by Heartspring Samplery. And it's so cute. And it, it looks like this. You're not going to see a lot, but there's a lot of text. And every time I read it, I cry like a baby. And there are some dogs. So. And the pattern is like this. Um, this is also the order from uh, traditional stitches and it was supposed to be stitched on like I said unprepared but hey that's how it is let's just pull it out again and see what it says um, hmm, hmm, hmm. does it say here ah yes it should be stitched on a 40 count Weekstack Works Coco. And that's what I've ordered, but I haven't gotten that order yet. So I got tired of waiting because I finally got all the threads. Um, so I ordered the fabric from XU Designs. And then instead of going with Coco, the brownish, because all the text is brown. So it felt like, will it show up at all? So I decided on a grayish background instead. And I hope that will be fine. I'm sure it will be fine. It will be fine. And um, I have also put the threads in um, the floss away bags. And the threads are on these kind of papers, and those are gentle art hand dyed threads. It's very nice. It's very nice. Um, I just love. That's what I hope. I want to continue with on twenty twenty one the year 2021 not just like focusing on the heaven and earth i'm sorry i'm sorry please forgive me uh, but i really enjoy the smaller projects jumping from different one to the different one and trying out all kinds of different threads that's what i like at the moment and i'm sorry about all the shooting in the background but it's Silly people out there firing fireworks and it's not even New Year's Eve. And I have a dog who likes, who is a very, 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 very afraid of fireworks. But so this is, um, yeah, the text on the grayish uh, fabric. And what also is hard to see, but the text is two different uh, shades of brown. So one is a little bit lighter and one is a little bit darker. I can hardly see it. So to me it was like, well, maybe I should just go with one color, but that's one project I have been working on. And it's, I can't say that I'm like, a text person who loves to stitch letters, but it's kind of easy because I feel like let, let's just do one or two threads and that will result in like six letters maybe. So it goes pretty fast. So that's one project. And then another project is um, the Anne Morrison stitch along 
also from traditional stitches but the um, the, um, the design was made by Hands Across the Sea samplers and I just love their samplers they're so beautiful and in their traditional stitches 25 anniversary 25 year anniversary they released this one and the whole world is stitching this together and we were supposed to start in August but there were so many people who wanted to jump on the stitch along and because of the corona situation it was difficult to get all the threads for everyone who ordered the the materials but we're on uh, I think we started on the 3rd of December I think it was somewhere in December I started mine on the 17th it's very beautiful it's a Scottish sampler oh in Scotland yeah <sighs> I'm so far behind I just found out about the Outlander series and I was like oh let's just start watching it what's the big fuss what's the big fuss now I want to go to Scotland I want to live in Scotland I want to be there I want to stitch everything I want to do everything I want to read the books I want to listen to the books I want to re-watch the series oh my god I have, a, I have I have a problem so which this is the start of my sampler anyway I'm just rambling on and I got a square piece of fabric which was a little bit annoying because I couldn't figure out which way to stitch and it's a it's a 45 count um, so it's uneven and then I have understood that you need to kind of figure out how many threads it goes on this way and this way and I tried that and I counted it and I counted and I got the same count on each so I just hope I started on the right way but so far it looks pretty good and I'm stitching it on 45 count jersey cream linen and I'm using a Vera Soie 103 I'm using these beautiful 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 babies I will bring out the two colors I started with they're so I mean I've noticed that in the ends of the thread when I'm stitching it starts to fray and I don't know I don't know why so I know very little about this these threads I know some people don't like them that much and maybe that is the why because they're fraying maybe I should use some you know stuff for making it not fray or just use smaller pieces of threads I don't know but 45 count is pretty small um, yeah it's pretty small the weave maybe it's the jersey linen uh, it's very tightly woven so I don't know I hope it turns out fine so uh, on Facebook in the group uh, there is a lady who has you know um, um, how do you call that day um, well she has um, made the pattern into different parts so there's like 12 parts um, so that's what I'm trying to do that's that did I have anything else I have everything in my bed here in front of me where's this oh I should go in there Oh, hey, I think that's all. That's all. Oh, my back. My back is killing me. So, uh, should we talk a little bit of plants before uh, we head over to the uh, little bit of haul I have? 
So, um, <clears throat> plans for 2021. That is WIPGO 2021. I found out about it uh, earlier this year and it seemed like a lot of fun. Uh, it seems like a lot of people get a lot of stitching done when they go with the WIPGO. So, I think in August, September, somewhere there, I started making a WIPGO just uh, being Heaven and Earth designs. I remade my WIPGO just now when it's about to start and now I wonder this will be my go and it's all white so you might be all flashed out I'm like my face here I'm sorry uh yeah and I decided to just stick with um the softest steel for and heaven and earth. This year I'm going to try to do the projects I have shown you. It's smaller projects, it's different threads, it's different kinds of uh, stitching um, and I hope that will kind of you know keep me going. It's not that I'm not stitching, I'm stitching. If you follow me on Instagram you see that I'm stitching so it's not like I'm in bed eating chips and ice cream all the time. I do it a lot of, of time because I'm not feeling happy. But I do stitch also. Um, so the projects I have chosen is Jane Hearth. That's also a Hands Across the Sea sampler I started earlier. It's one of the... Um, what do you call them? The mini? No, the jewels or something. It's called, so it's a, it's a smaller um, sampler with no specialty stitches. So I chose that. I chose the Doc's Testimony, which I showed you I started. I've chosen the Ann Morrison, the sampler with the stitch along sampler and a Mirabilia, whatever, whichever. So I'm gonna start a new one now. And the 101 alphabets. <clears throat> soft as steel and a new thing I, I mentioned it before um, after the uh, cross stitch retreat soul stitch uh, people were talking about the ch chatelaines and I, I know I had been wa looking at it before I took a closer look and I was like mm, totally in love oh my god and now finally the package is on its way. Oh my God, I can't wait. So that is also one of the Whipcos. And then uh, I have just put it on repeat and the three last. So I have Anne Morrison, Jane Hearth and Doc's Testimony, an extra month. So this is my Whipco. I hope it's going to be a lot of fun. And the goal is very small because I don't want to fail. And I just see I've been talking for 34 minutes already. Oh my God, you poor people out there. <laughs> I hope you're stitching while you're listening to me rambling here. My goal is to stitch five days on each project that is being drawn, the number, you know. Uh, so every month has 30 days. First I thought, well, maybe I should stitch 10 day days on each and then I have 10 days on whatever I want to stitch. But then I know myself that I'm not going to stitch every day and I'm into gaming a little bit. So I want that still. And then Mina is going back to school and the supporting and yada, 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 you know. So I decided five days on each project. Everything more than that is a bonus. This is going to be fun. It's going to be, you know, something different, um, something achievable, you know. Um, I know my heaven and earths, I, I, 
I think like I'm never ever going to finish them. I'm just going to enjoy stitching them. And that's how I think about it. But all the other designs I'm stitching on now, I feel like I'm going to finish them. And I like that thought. And you guys out there who are with the Whipco know that number 6, 13 and 18 has already been uh, drawn. And I was hoping because 13 I chose like what, whichever your choice, you know. And I was thinking that I was going to spend that time with my shell lane, which is coming very soon. <laughs> Uh, but it hasn't arrived. <laughs> so I will have to figure out something else. But number six is soft as steel. So from the 1st of January, it's five days on soft as steel. Where, are, where did I put her? Yeah, she's over there. And 18 is my Anne Morrison. And that's perfect because in January I will go to the next part to stitch and five days should, you know, get me somewhere. And then 13 is a free choice. So I was like, what should I do? But I know what I'm going to do since my shadow line hasn't arrived. I'm going to start my new Mirabilia because I finished Veronica today. Yay for me. So. A new start and I pulled out all my mirrors and then I separated the ones that I have all the materials for even the fabric and then I sorted them out some more so I had three and then I asked my daughter to, to help me I had chosen um, justice Lady Justice, I think she's called, and Mermaids of the Deep Ocean, I think is called. And now you, you're, you're going to know which one I'm choosing because I haven't been preparing myself. And the third one was Lady of Mystery, which was the choice I made. Yes. Uh, this one is like... The first one I ordered. So, and I have all the beautiful threads. Oh my God. I think she's gonna be a pretty easy stitch because her dress is like a lot of color blocking. So the challenge is the background and it looks a little bit like black work, but it's not. No, I don't think it's black work. And we have the, the beads, not a lot of beads. There's a lot of uh, glass beads, size eight, and they look black. Yeah, and then you have the normal um, Magnifica glass beads, also black. And then we have some red uh, glass beads as well. I think you can see that it that this is a little bit more red. So, and then I special ordered this fabric <clears throat> when I uh, bought uh, the pattern, and um, it is a hand dyed twenty eight count um, linen, and it's called moss green. Oops. Yeah, I threw the bag away. It's called Moss Green. It's from Crafty, Crafty Kitten. So, and since it has a, a, a bit of a greenish tint, I'm quite sure that her red dress is gonna be perfect with this. So, but otherwise she has this brownish background. So, but I decided to go with this. So that is going to be my start. And uh, I guess it would be cheating, cheating, if I was to start now 
since the whip go is from the 1st of January, so I guess I have to wait. Yeah. Or not. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to start preparing. Um, the edges are sewn and I'm going to pour up the beads in my um, Jerry's containers. I'm going to um, um, bobbinate the threads and put in my small plastic box, box which I use for my Mirabilias. Wait a second. I'm missing something. Yeah. There's some specialty threads. I just realized, but there's no treasure braid or anything, but there is. And I think this is the background. Oh, I just love the feel of the water lilies. The word I have such difficulties to pronounce. And we have, it's the black forest and the sable. I can't wait. And these, I'm not going to abominate them. Am I? Yes, I think I'm going to abominate them. Or something. I'll figure it out. Yes, and I wanted to do, because stitching with Luda, she is using this amazing Splendor silk threads on the skin for her Mirabilias. So she recommended you guys, I have a problem. I buy everything I see. Uh, so I ordered a lot of these threads. And then I couldn't find the missing ones in Europe. I'm sure there, there is a place I have to take a look again. I'm going to ask for your guys' help when I figure out which numbers I'm missing. And I ordered some which I'm missing from Russia. And it took like three months or something, two. Then the custom denied it. I cannot believe how they can deny some embroidery threads, but they did. It was sent back and now she has sent it again. I told her you have to be very, 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 very clear on the custom declaration. And it's still in Russia. I don't know. I mean, I ordered this in June. Six months. So I need to find these kind of threads with all these shades, especially this one. This is this SC1. I think it's the SC0 or 2, which I need to start with at least. But there's not so much. And I want to stitch the skin on my Mirabilias with this. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. I need to lose some weight. Yes. So those were the plans. Let's hit. Sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I have ordered a snag nibbit and I think it looks very thick. But this should help you lay your threads a little bit better, I think. So I wanted to try that. I ordered that. I have one coming from traditional stitches as well. So this is one of those back ordered stuff, which I've been waiting forever for. And then we have some white 28 count even weave for my shoveling. Yeah. Yes. I'm preparing and I have some more over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Was there anything else? No, I don't think so. So, <clears throat> it's coming and I'm gonna have one of those un unpacking videos when it comes. This is the Chatelaine I'm gonna start stitching and probably I'm not aware of how big and complicated they are. So this is probably something 
like the last thing I do in my life. But you might know me. I can't just settle for one. So I ordered this. The kit is coming from European Crust Cross Stitch Company. And I've just prepared for the materials here and the instructions which I hardly understand. Then I have ordered, I, I bought the pattern for this. I bought, bought this pattern. It's also Chatelaine. It's the Mysteri Mystery 21. And it's gonna be stitched on black, even weave. Yes, I don't know what I'm getting into, but it looks very nice. And I ordered the kit for this from Hawkins Hobbies. So if you're in Europe and you don't want to order from the States, the shipping is like $65 and then the tax and everything. Hawkins Hobbies. I ordered the pattern for this as well. And then I ordered the pattern, pattern, not kit. <clears throat> uh, Secret Victorian Garden. But it's very repetitive but it's so beautiful and i'm pretty sure that this garden is in outlander season two no not season two season one and then i ordered the pattern for the pomerium mandala or garden this is so cool love it love 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 so i've ordered patterns for those ordered i've bought them i have them uh, as a pdf and then i read in the chatelaine facebook group that the crystals were no longer going to be made and then i panicked so i had to get the bead kits so i bought the kits and they arrived pretty fast for the pomerium and they came in these sweet little tubes. Very nice. So I have all the beads and crystals, whatever, the delicate beads for this. And for the Victorian garden as well. It doesn't look a lot when you look at, look at them, but I think it's pretty much, I guess dropping them is out of the question. And I ordered the beads for medieval, uh, the medieval town as well. But I haven't bought the pattern or anything for that. I have ordered the threads for the Victorian and the Pomerian as well. I'm sorry, I have to confess that. <clears throat> But it's good to make sure you have the things just in case. You never know. What else? Yes. And since I just found out about Outlander and I'm totally in love with the series and I missed out on all the heaven and earth designs. I hate myself for that. I had to figure out some way to stitch the thing. And I found this little bookmark. And I really like it. So it's a complete kit and everything is finished. You don't have to do anything, just stitch it. So it's perfect. And it's perfect since I bought the first book as well. Um, and I actually got a little sweet pattern for the, with a toile. I didn't get the threads, but I guess I should stitch this with a toile threads whatever um, and I have the eyes on the Scottish Mandela for Chatelaine because I'm thinking like Outlander yeah we'll see we'll see and last but not least I got the last two fabrics fabric of the month club from Crafty Kitten because I've ended the the membership there because of 
me ending. I'm not going to be the boss. I'm not going to have the money, you know, so I have to stop buying stuff. Um, and it was getting, you know, she's having a lot of trouble. I don't know if she has trouble now, but I still haven't gotten the fabric I ordered in June uh, for one of my Mirabilias uh, because she's been having trouble getting 32 count Belfast linen. But here's the last. And she decided to do like this. She gave us uh, the August limited and the July limited. So I didn't get the other. Yeah, you usually get the limited and then another color for the month. But she just gave me two limited and I'm not going to pick them out. I like this one. Yeah, I'm going to take it out. I'm sorry for the crinkling. Let's see, the lighting here is so awful, it's a bit difficult to see, but it looks, it looks, I'm sorry, but this looks pretty small. Anyway, would a Mirabilia seriously fit on this? Huh. It's a grayish uh, thing. I think there is some purple in it. It looks pretty nice, don't you think? I think it's nice. I'm just being very negative. It looks, if it was so small. It looks very small. Maybe I've bought a lot of fabrics and none of them can be used on Mirabilia. Where did I put that? Oh, okay. okay, come here. And the other one was the July Limited. And this one is very colorful. It's also very tiny. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure this and I'm gonna do the fish line stuff where I count, where I grid out because I don't think a Mirabilia would fit on this. It's purple and pink. It's pretty nice. Now I'm gonna take my Victoria, no Veronica, and I guess she's a big one. And I'm, I'm fitting the fabric behind here and you can't see it but she would fit on this but she would have maybe an inch so there won't be there won't be enough fabric to frame it. Um, I'm just gonna keep my mouth quiet. Yep, I'm not gonna say a thing. I'm just very disappointed. But hey, we can't get everything in life. Anyway, it's important to, to grid out on those uh, fabric of the month. I was expecting like a piece like this. I mean, here you have at least two, three, two to three inches for framing. But then I also know that if I really want um, to be sure, I could just, you know, order the kits with uh, the fabric. So you can never go wrong with that. But ay, that was all people. Um, a bit messy, but a bit crazy, but um, it was good to be back. 
um, we're coming to the end of 2020, a crazy, crazy year uh, with a lot of ups and downs, uh, with, um, I've learned a lot about myself this year, uh, which is good. Um, I have gotten some experience with me uh, from my work. Um, but I, I'm not going to think of what has been, okay? I'm going to focus on what's now and what's coming. And I hope that 2021 is going to be a much more fun year. I hope to get a little bit more in control of my life and how I feel. Um, I hope I will be a lot happier 2021. And to all of you guys who are subscribing and watching my videos, I cannot thank you enough for all the support you're giving me uh, for subscribing, for commenting, for just showing up and asking so to all of you from me crazy me <laughs> thank you for everything this year and i hope you'll stick with me for 2021 and follow my progress and showing and um sharing your progress with me as well and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm Rania76. I know it's a crazy name. It's like an old Elias, alias, I think it's called. Um, so go over there and follow me there. Uh, I'm a lot more active there and you're able to, to show me your stuff as well. Um, so I hope you had a Merry Christmas. I wish you all a very, very happy new year. Thanks for everything 2020. I'll see you next year. Lots of love to you all. Bye.